all right so back with another video and i'm hoping to kind of summarize the last two reflection videos i made action man with a vision and a dream with your heart and even the art videos in between and i want to title this one vision action launch and i want to start in Habakkuk 2 verse 2 it says write down the revelation make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it and pretty much i like the practicality of this i like the understanding already that you could think of a revelation as a vision hence the first word vision right and it talks about writing it down on tablets and making it plain and again i like the practicality of this and you could think about just having a vision in your heart or even going to sleep and having a dream that you think is very important or just maybe something you think someone told you and it, it becomes very important to you and i think it's a good practice to simply just write it down whether you're writing it down it may be like a mini journal or whatever it is right so i think already that becomes something that's very practical to do as i mentioned before if action man with a vision right so whether it's in a journal or sticky notes i think it's just very important if you have something that you want to work towards maybe it is you want to be a culinary chef maybe you want to have a healthy marriage maybe it is you want to be a pro footballer i think it's worthwhile i think it's worth just writing it down so that you have this vision clearly stuck in your mind something that you could read every day and basically work towards and the verse goes on to say for the revelation awaits an appointed time it speaks of an end and will not prove false and that gives me an understanding that sometimes the vision might take time so even writing it down allows you maybe two years in the future three years in the future to not grow weary and say yes this is what i'm working towards you have something to pretty much hold on to and you're not just blowing in the wind so I don't want to stick too much on vision because I spoke a lot about it already but pretty much understand that you have to have some sort of vision for your life even if you get maybe an important word from someone or someone just mention a word to you I think it's worth writing it down and it's kind of in accordance to how much you believe in it the faith that you have in it coming through that you're able to work towards it and you're able to take actions towards it so that's being the second word of action and in James 2 verse 17 it says in the same way faith by itself if it is not accompanied by action is dead right well this shows that faith and actions both work together so you can't want to be a culinary chef and maybe never cook something in your life maybe you have to go to culinary school maybe it is you have to apprentice under a master chef but you can't sit down in your house never watch a cooking show never pick up the salt or the pepper and become a master chef it's just it's pretty impossible right it's hard to think that one day you'll just wake up a master chef if you never went to a class or never asked your mom how to cook. So having a vision to me produces actions, it produces faith in you that you're able to mix hand in hand because faith without works is dead. That you're able to but you're able to use this to get to that appointed vision. And we could see the example that the Bible talks about with Abraham, where even though or well, God told him that he was going to be a father of nations and then asked him to kill his only son. But he was a man of such faith that he was saying, all right, well, if this is what I have to do, if this is the action I have to take, then I'm gonna take it. So I think, again, you can see how both of them work hand in hand, faith and uh, actions, right? So I think we have to be very intentional about our actions to be able to get to that dream, to get to that vision, or even work out a dream that we may have had while we were sleeping. And this is really what I wanted to get to, the idea of launching. In Proverbs 16, verse 3, I like to start with a Bible verse apparently, it says, commit, the Lord, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. And maybe just going back to the idea of wanting to become a culinary chef. Okay, maybe this was your desire. Maybe you went to school, you went and you apprenticed under someone, your mom showed you how to do certain things, you watch Food Network, and 10 years down the road, you still never became the master chef you really wanted to be but one day walking along you wrote down your vision of becoming a master chef learning how to cook and all of that and you still have it in your heart but one day walking down the road and you meet a friend and they're like hey you know we have this soup kitchen but we're gonna close it down do you want it and you basically get gifted a soup kitchen so if i'm kind of to explain that a little bit more i'm thinking that if you commit your actions to the lord you commit your vision to the lord you do everything that you're doing unto the lord even if it is your actions aren't leading you to what it is he has you to or maybe the direction quote unquote he wants you to go in i think it's better than sitting down and doing nothing because he could use the actions that you give him he could use the one piece of bread that you give him 
and feed a million. He could take the, the culinary school, the this, the that, and he could really bring you to the soup kitchen because maybe he wanted you to serve in a soup kitchen for whatever reason. You could fill in the blanks there. So sometimes it could be a slow process to the vision, but of course, going back to writing it down and not becoming wary, you always have something to work towards. And I think many times we might be a little skeptical about starting, you know, you want to start a YouTube channel and you don't know how to start, or you think you're not going to get the kind of views you expect, or yeah, or you're not going to be as successful as you want to be. You could let fear settle in and not take the actions towards the vision. For me, I wanted to start a YouTube channel to explore the world of us, but also to use this as a channel to basically reflect on my life, which is what I'm doing right now. And if we go to Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. So, I think it's just understanding that you can't allow fear to stop you from taking those actions. You can't allow fear to let you sit in an empty room and not move towards the vision. You have to, if you want to start a YouTube channel, maybe get a camera to record, get a mic, understand the type of videos you want to make, and then actually sit down and just record them. So even me sitting down now, I started this channel almost a year and a half now. Sometimes I still get nervous to make a video. Sometimes I still maybe at most more specifically with reflection videos like this i get a little bit more nervous to make them because you know i'm worrying i'm wondering if people are going to judge me i'm wondering if i'm going to say the right thing i'm wondering like if somebody's going to tell me i'm doing garbage but at the same time i could also think that yeah i'm saying the right thing maybe someone is going to you know talk to me about it in a positive way maybe it's going to reach to just that one person that needed to hear the message and that's pretty much what kept me going that allowed me to get over the hill of fear and take action and of course that verse where it says be strong and courageous because basically the lord your god is with you no matter what so sometimes even before a video i would just sit down and i'll say lord you're with me we're going to record this video if i'm going to an exhibition i'll say lord you're with me we're going to record a video so this again shows me that, or this verse again shows me that we have to press forward and basically launch towards the vision that you have in your heart.